Hi everybody and welcome back to the half Ass Homestead. Today we're going to be talking about water glassing eggs. When it comes down to your farm fresh eggs, if you're like us and you don't use light or heat in your coop in the winter, it means you don't get any eggs. Um, so what we are doing today is water glassing some eggs. We filled up this gallon and we are moving on to this gallon. Okay, so it is a ratio recipe. It is very simple. Um, for every one gallon, you need 64 ounces of distilled drinking or spring water. I do not recommend using tap water. if Your water is hard or if you have city water, definitely not city water. Um, and two ounces of pickling lime, which can be found at any hardware store that offers canning supplies darn near. Um, we prefer pickling lime. There are other varieties of lime that you can use. Um, I'm not going to share anything about it because I'm not well versed. When you mix your solution, it is cloudy, it is messy, the powder gets everywhere and isn't hard to clean up, but it's kind of a nuisance. Um, as your solution sits, the lime does fall out. Essentially what water glassing solution is, is a mixture of lime and water used to prevent to keep oxygen off of your eggs, to preserve them for up to a year. I've heard people say more, I've heard people say less. Um, I don't foresee us using them for an entire year. Um, and we're just doing enough to get us through the winter. <clears throat> when you are choosing your eggs for water glassing, they need to be fresh, under 24 hours, and clean. And I can't stress enough about the clean factor. What you want is a good bloom on your egg. If it's gotten wet outside of the bloom, like our nesting boxes uh, leak a little bit when it rains, we don't use them. Um, so you want the bloom intact. Uh, you don't want any poop or dirt or shavings or anything stuck to them. If you have um, like a little bit of shavings or a little fluff or something, a small bit of material, you can brush it off. Um, if it's just kind of resting on the outside of the jar or jar egg, um, it's fine to brush off like a feather or something like that. But you do need clean, fresh eggs. Um, the bloom is what does also help protect against oxygen getting into your egg. Um, and you would take this very seriously if you've ever had a rotten egg explode in your hand. It really gives you a different level of respect for eggs. So that being said, simple solution. You can add to your solution for several days or weeks at a time. Um, it took us probably uh, somewhere in the realm of two to three weeks to fill this up. Um, it's spring here. It's not, it's wet a lot, so we don't get a whole lot of clean fresh eggs. Um, we eat a lot of eggs, so. But that's the overall basis on water glassing in general. Um, personally, I think we're going on to more personal preferences here. We're using one gallon jars. You can use larger containers. You could use a five gallon pail if you'd like. Um, we talked about using larger containers and I kind of put my foot down on feeling that a five gallon pail is too much. And I think a three gallon pail is honestly too much. That's a lot of weight for, for eggs. I feel like the ones at the bottom could be easily fractured. Um, picking up a five gallon pail is not practical. We're not going to be picking up a five gallon pail of eggs. Um, so whatever container size best suits your needs. Um, I personally don't think I'd go over a two gallon container. It's not worth it. You're not really coming out that far ahead. Um, in my personal opinion, when you're putting your eggs into your solution, your ideal orientation is you want your air sac facing up. Um, if it doesn't happen, it's not that big of a deal. We try to get the air sac up like on the bottom of the jar. Sometimes it can be a little difficult and sometimes they just wind in on their side or something like that. Air sac ideally also for, you want your eggs to be completely submerged in the solution. If they are not completely submerged, they are not preserved. So if you have one that's just sticking out of the water a little bit, just put it in the next jar or don't put it in a jar at all. <laughs> so you want them completely submerged. Uh, your eggs, when you crack them, are gonna be just like regular eggs, maybe a little bit thinner in consistency, um, but they'll fry up like a normal egg. They'll taste like a normal egg. Um, they store up to a year. And I mean, I think it's a fantastic way and it's very simple to 
preserve food and kind of ensure that you have food for tomorrow. So. I think that concludes our video today. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you guys like this video and you give it a like, that'd be great. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. And see you guys in the next video. Um, I'd like to greatly thank you for your support. Um, we've gained a few subscribers as of late, and I'm pretty excited about that. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you. Bye.